Stan Gibalisco here. <clears throat> I'd like to explain very briefly what is meant by the term logarithm. A lot of people get confused by these things, so I'd just like to explain very briefly what a logarithm is. <clears throat> There are various kinds of logarithms, but most of them involve powers of the number 10. For example, 10 squared equals 100, 10 cubed equals 1,000. Another way of saying this is that the logarithm of 1,000 is 3, the logarithm of 100 is 2. So the logarithm is the power of 10 that you have to use to get a particular number. The logarithm of a given number is this power of 10. So uh, we can extrapolate a little bit. 10 to the first power equals 10. So the logarithm of 10 is 1. Now this number 10 we call the base. We're dealing here with what we call base 10 logarithms or base 10 logs. We can have other bases besides 10, but the base 10 logarithm is the one that's most commonly used. So you'll sometimes hear a base 10 logarithms, common logs, or common logarithms. Well, all that's cool. 10 to the minus 1 equals 0 0.1. That's 1 tenth. So the logarithm of 1 tenth is minus 1. 10 to the minus 2 equals 0 0.01 equals 1 one hundredth. So the logarithm of 1 one hundredth is negative 2. Well, so far we've only dealt with logarithms that are whole numbers or integers. Suppose, though, now that we have some other number that's not an integer power of 10. For example, here's a good one, 2. What power of 10 equals 2? If we can figure that out, then we know the logarithm of 2. Well, as it works out, you can have numbers that are not whole numbers that are exponents. And if you'll take a calculator and take the logarithm of 2, now this is the logarithm, abbreviated log, that's the common log. If you use this one, that's a different log. We'll get into that some other time. Right now we're dealing with common logarithms. 10 to the x power equals 2. This x is the log of 2. Well, as it works out, x is an irrational number. It can't be expressed as a fraction but it's approximately equal to 0 0.301. I believe if you take your calculator, you'll find that to be the case. So, 10 to the 0 0.301 is approximately equal to 2. That's what that squiggly equal sign means. Roughly equal to, approximately. 10 to the 0 0.301. So 0 0.301 is a logarithm of 2. Now you can try some other ones. 10 to the x equals 17. Take the logarithm of 17 on your calculator, and then you'll know what x is. You'll know what power of x equals 17. 10 to the x equals 1 654th. Take a 654, take 654, enter the 1 over x key to get 1 654th, then hit the log key, 
you'll solve for x. So a logarithm is always a power of 10. If you think of it like that, it'll make it a little easier, make your life a little easier. Some other time we'll get into the other kind of logarithm, which is based on a number called e instead of 10. e is approximately equal to 2.718, I believe. That's an irrational number, e, so that makes it a little more fun. You're talking sometimes you'll have an irrational number raised to an irrational number power. That gets really fun because irrational numbers can't be expressed as neat fractions. So it gets, it gets a little esoteric, but those are called natural logs. That's where the LN comes from. Stands for logarithm unnatural or something like that. I don't know. Well, LN is, means natural log. Log means the base is 10. Natural log means the base is E. So that's a quick and easy explanation of that. Engineering and electronics and physics, you'll find logarithms all the time. Every calculator worth its salt, every good scientific calculator has logarithm function keys on it. Until next time, Stan Jabalisco signing off from the wilds of South Dakota, United States of America.